Hi, uh, this is the Stuyvesant Square Consultancy I'm here with the July jobs report. Uh, if you're not familiar with how we do this, this is a, a chart that we print and release every morning uh, on Jobs Friday. This is the average uh, weekly wages for each of the jobs uh, in each of these sectors along the bottom axis here. Uh, along the vertical axis here, we show the jobs created. We show the current month in red here, and we show the prior month in June. Um, and now let's look, and then of course uh, our, our gold line running from the highest wage sectors to the lowest wage sectors. Um, today's jobs report printed at 209,000 jobs which has been touted throughout the media as a uh, as a successful jobs report we're not of that view we we think that uh, this number here uh, the 62,000 jobs created in the low wage leisure and hospitality sector where where people earn only about four hundred dollars a week uh, skews the data and makes this a better much better jobs report than it really is. Um, we're also concerned, uh, as we were in the Obama administration, with so much jobs creation being in sectors that are heavily supported by government spending. Uh, here, the health, education, health services, and healthcare and social services are just breakouts of, of a single sector. Um, that's how the data is presented by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. But uh, 54,000 jobs and uh, 45,000 jobs is, is, you know, that's, a, that's nearly 100,000 jobs uh, created in sectors that are heavily reliant on government uh, spending at the federal, state, and local level uh, and in Medicare and Medicaid. Uh, for their uh, for worker demand, so so we're not terribly impressed by this jobs report. The the things we saw that we did like was the uh, creation of jobs in professional business services, uh, which was good and and substantial, um, but and also in manufacturing. But overall. Uh, we're not impressed. We don't think that this is the handy uh, boost to the economy that, that it was being sold as. Um, as we said in our GDP report um, earlier in the month uh, from the second quarter, we don't see this economy as being terribly healthy. We think that a lot of it is being financed by consumer debt. Uh, and that's borne out by the uh, heavily heavy weighting of the uh, GDP by consumer uh, personal consumption expenditures, and and we just don't like the the general trend of the economy. In fact, we believe that it's likely to uh, go into recession. Either the, the commencement of the recession will be in either the third or fourth quarter, um, which is now, of 2017 or perhaps in early 2018. We don't, and unless there's some kind of fiscal stimulus coming from the uh, Trump administration and the Congress, uh, there's just not a lot supporting it right now. And uh, we have been negative uh, on the jobs report and if, if you look at our analysis uh, that we publish on seekingalpha.com you'll you'll see additional reasons why we are uh, skeptical about the uh, good news of this economy we, we just don't see it we first publish our jobs report under our client advisories and our flash reports at www.stysquare.com.
dot com here. This is uh, where where the information is first produced. We also report them up on our Twitter account, which is at Sty Square. Then in our LinkedIn account, the Stuyvesant Square Consultancy. Finally, we put the jobs report data up on our uh, Facebook page, which is the Stuyvesant Square Consultancy here. Usually on the afternoon of the report, uh, we make a uh, write an exclusive report for SeekingAlpha.com. That's available uh, free of charge. You just have to register with your name and email on their site, and uh, we we go into additional discussion about the economic aspects of the report, the macro effects, and uh, the effects on certain types of companies and, and uh, the stock market generally. And if you wish, you can subscribe to our mailing list. Uh, we send out a monthly newsletter uh, that has free and premium content. If you wish, you, you can also subscribe and become a premium subscriber. Uh, that's under the contact us information on our website. That concludes our analysis of the uh, July 2017 jobs report. You can read more about it in our analysis on Seeking Alpha. Uh, we'll be back again on Jobs Friday in September with the August jobs report, barring any big uh, changes that should affect that that might affect uh, the economy or or the job situation thanks very much we look forward to speaking to you next month uh, stay in touch with us at our twitter feed uh, our linkedin feed or on youtube we'll speak to you soon bye